Okay, well that was a bit of a surprise and a bit of a shock, you know. Just a snake sitting there. You know, I've been, if I'd been gas bagging anymore, I'd probably walked up on it. But then I came across these donkey orchids, you know, coming out here. So let's go to spot Cullen. And I don't want to hang around because, you know, if there's anything like the uh, stakes in the WA, they can actually go after, go after you sort of thing, so, yeah. Anyway, I think these ones are a little bit past their prime. They were probably better a week to a week and a half ago. So I think we'll just uh, go back to the path. Uh, drop my, <laughs> dropped everything, fellas. I think we'll just get back to the nice clear path now. Well, now we definitely have, and you see they're so dark and black, you know, you could actually easily tread on those. And, uh, you know, you'd probably be dead in 20 minutes, you know. So, yeah, I think it's, apparently, uh, there was a program on the TV, you know, telling Aboriginal stories and things like that at the weekend. And they mentioned that snakes do not like casuarina trees, they will not go anywhere near casuarina trees. Apparently the, the fine leaf needles uh, upset their body and gets, uh, can get under their sort of scales sort or of something and they don't like it and it's like historically it's like an instinct they know not to they, they know not to go near uh, um, you know casuarina trees so anyway we'll come back here to the par and I've got salt going into my eyes now but uh, yeah so you do risk your life if you're harvesting seed out in the bush uh, you know towards the as we get into the you know closer and closer to the third week of October sort of thing so you know and as I said dark soil dark boggy soil black Black belly brown snake or brown belly black snake. <laughs> yes, uh, back vistas. Oh, I think um, uh, 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 Mr. Todd is going to get a bit of a thrill out of that. <laughs> He'll probably be laughing his head off. But uh, I think we do have the deadliest of everything in the world. Uh, we, have, we do have the most blue flowered plants on the planet, on this continent. Now, uh, where were the... Uh, Plan the Planchonios. They were all just off the path, weren't they? There was someone coming along with the whippers sniffing, just going, uh, weren't they just off the path? Or we just missed them. Well, they're so much further up the path, I haven't. That is strange, fellas. Uh, normally, they're just off the path. And there's also a patch on the ground over here, and um, yeah, all those, they're all, yeah. Uh, basically past it sort of thing so uh, I don't know fella where are they it was a whole bushy area you know and you know all scrambling all over them and uh, well there's the marker there were some off the path in the in the area weren't there some over here on the ground or something Just scrambling on the ground somewhere over here or something. Well, they're not. Or oh, I come down too far. Or it's a bit strange, fellas. Yeah, I think they are here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Made my wrong about the two weeks. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Oh yeah. In there. But weren't there some off the path on the left hand side? Whole load scrambling over things. <sighs> I don't know fellas. Maybe you just can't see them. Well, hang on, they are here I think, but uh, I don't think I really want to linger now. I want to get to the other place of the bamboo and uh, see what that's like I think. But uh, yeah, they are here, but uh, yeah, they're hard to see now. They're losing all their colour and everything, so... Mm, okay, well... Uh, yeah, I think I'll just call it, I'll call it quits. That's a bit of a shock to the system this early in the, se in the season. Nah, and so play it safe, I think. You know, it's better to live, you know, another 50 years if you can. Yeah, you know, with all the modern technology than, uh, you know, risk something and uh, die in 20 minutes today, you know. Okay, over and out, see ya.